Yeah, we still we still talk. She lives in so she lives in the Poconos. Uh, ah. And and I called her. She went radio silent for a little while, and I think COVID did that to to a lot of us, to maybe all of us. So we lost touch. Called her a couple months back, and I just shared. I was like, I just need you to know how much that probably silly conversation to you, how much that changed my life. And it was really cool to, to see how that affected her and to let her know the impact she had. Because that's the funny thing about humanity is that sometimes what seems like an innocuous conversation or comment to us, it's really weighty to somebody else. I have a buddy who we were together for an event several years back, and he was telling me that he was getting engaged but didn't buy into the whole wedding rigmarole and the cost of getting this venue and the caterers and the this and the that. And I thought, keep in mind, this guy's a CPA, so he's very focused on these types of things. He said, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can buy into that. And I looked at him and I said, Jeff, you get to choose what your life looks like. If you want to rent out a room at Ruth's Chris and invite 30 of your closest friends and just have really nice wine and really delicious steak, and that's your wedding, guess what? 